Liza Minnelli. <laughs> This is Andy, don't mind him, he sweats a lot. <laughs> you don't need to say anything, just come out and do that walk on, walk off again, everyone's happy. <laughs> wow, thank you so much for coming on the programme. Oh, darling, of course. And I'm really, a big fan. You, know you look wonderful. Thank you. You do, you look, doesn't she look good enough to eat, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> the wedding looked fantastic. It was in the uh, papers here this week. Yes, I know, I yeah. saw it. It looked spectacular. There's a picture from OK Magazine. Look at that, wow. Oh, my God. Now, the two in the middle look fine. <laughs> But the other two, it's the Adams family. Come on. <laughs> oh, Johnny, what did you do? You've touched it up. We well, yeah, I haven't touched anything up. <laughs> but hang around, Liza, your luck might be in. I know. I know. No, that, it was spectacular. It was, re it was wonderful. And I know that every, people are saying that it was... You know, there, there's sides. There seem to be sides. Uh, we know that it was just our friends. I mean, when yeah. you grow up among, if you're a football player, you know all the football players. Yeah. I'm in the theater and, and I'm a singer, and I'm, that's who I know. That's could, my family. And you David know, so people. Too. It was a spectacular yeah. guest this day. Liz Taylor was there, of course. Diana Ross was there. Yes. You know this, I'm telling them, really. Oh, you, right. <laughs> because well. you were there, of course. Diana Ross was there. Joan Collins, Michael Jackson, Marty McCutcheon, Mel C. Keith Harrison, Orville, Bradley Walsh, <laughs> Don Estelle, Les Dennis, Eamon Holmes, the cast of Big Brother 2. Man, that was a... <laughs> Some of those, I believe, just bunked in. They didn't have an invite. But yes. You can't stop them these days. Was the, uh, the ceremony itself, uh, was it romantic? It looks beautiful in the photographs. I saw flowers above you and around the side. Was it a, it was a memorable occasion, obviously, but romantic? Oh, it, was, it was wonderful. It was really beautiful and it was warm and it was... sweet. It was all the stuff I ever dreamed of. Yeah. How did your husband propose? How did because it was a fairly, it was a whirlwind romance. It was a pretty quick from, from meeting to getting married, wasn't it? Yes, we we knew quickly. Um, he took me up, up on the roof of his building. So he, he has his own building. Yes. <laughs> you know, I'd marry him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he he has a couple of buildings, quite a few. Man, but, a brace uh, of buildings. <laughs> yeah, he took me up on the top of one of his buildings, <laughs> and. Um, it was night time and the sky was so beautiful and the, all of the, the lights of New York were twinkling everywhere. And I thought, what am I doing on the roof? You know, why are you think are we it was after here? the insurance? It was freezing. <laughs> yes. Don't go near the edge next time. Now you're yes. married, don't go near the edge. <laughs> I turned around and there's, there's just David and I. I thought, well, this is nice, you know. And I was looking out and then I looked back and he was gone and then I looked out. <laughs> and he was there, on one knee. <laughs> so sweet. And um, he said, Liza, I really love you. Will you marry me? And uh, my th thought, I, I've said this before, but maybe some of you hadn't heard, my thought was, N are you crazy? I don't want to ever get married again, ever. I mean, you know, it's, it's, we'll just, we'll live together, we'll be fine, all of that stuff. I don't want to get married. Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, you know. But that sounds really lovely. It was lovely. It's kind of different to the way I proposed to my wife. How'd you do it? I'm not proud. <laughs> I uh, I was younger then, and, and she was quite a bit younger then. And uh, we we uh, I'd been out with a friend of mine, d drinking quite heavily, and <laughs> as is traditional in London, we'd had a, a big Indian meal. Yes, yes. And I came home, and I think I was probably quite bloated and <laughs> possibly flatulent. <laughs> and I lie on top of her. Yes. And I said, I've been talking to my friend Alan, he thinks it's a good idea if we get married. <laughs> that was it. And you know, but she said yes. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't capable of getting down on one knee. <laughs> Did you have a hen night? Did you go out with your friends? Because tradition in this country, I don't know if it's the same in America, tradition in this country, when someone's getting married, they spend the night before with their friends of the same sex. So the women go out with the women, yes. the men go out with the men. Yes. Well, we call it a wedding shower oh, yeah. for the women. And the, uh, mine was hilarious because all of my buddies were there, all my girlfriends, and I, they give you, you know, very bizarre lingerie <laughs> and all kinds of things. I things mean, you're uh, looking up. Yeah, <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> and then David went out with his buddies and... Uh, what kind of lingerie did they give him? Oh, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't, but he... 
he came home really early for me. His well, he party. knew what you were wearing, probably. He came out with a, <laughs> a sneak preview. What did you get? What, can you tell us what sort of gear? I mean, what are you wearing right now? What am I wearing? <laughs> you know sometimes when you say stuff and you yeah. should only think it? <laughs> yes, I do. I do apologise. <laughs> hey, let me ask you about your wedding list, cos I, I read that uh, part of it went up on the internet, because um, you had a wedding list in a few different stores, and one of them automatically puts the wedding list on the internet, so everyone could have a good nose. I know, it was... I thought that was really rude. Mm. Yeah, but I, I accidentally went there and had a look. I didn't... <laughs> but and some but of the what stuff... Is, what was that you sent me again? Well, I've got your present here. You do? Well, I've got your present. I tell you, before, we, before I give you your present, because I didn't know what to get you... And Are the you wedding kidding list, me? Yeah, I've got no. you a little something. Don't, oh. Please, don't get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. But I read that you got on the list there were 16 salt and pepper pops you had and four punch ladles. <laughs> now, I know what you're doing here, and everyone knows what you're doing here. You're going to have a car boot sale, aren't you, Liza? <laughs> yes! No, I'm not. I mean, that was thrilling. I mean, I can't tell you what it's like when people really care about you and they're nice enough, like my fans and a lot of, a lot of the people here who I know and love and, and people that I don't know sent me beautiful things. That's nice. Just beautiful. I, that startles me. It always astounds and amazes well, me. Well, prepare to continue to be startled. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I didn't know what to get you. What do you get, Liza Minnelli? You know, and it's like, you know, so I, you come on the show and I, I got you something. Uh -oh. Can I be honest with you? I bought this for myself, OK? You did? Yeah, but it hasn't been used yet. And I, <laughs> I tell you, I'm so excited about this, and I'm jealous of you now, <laughs> and I, but I'm going to give it to you anyway because I'm like that, OK? Right. But I've been watching... You know when you watch uh, late-night TV? Yeah. And you see those infomercials on? Yeah. Now, one of them that always excites me, and this isn't it, so don't get too excited. All right. You seen that pen they can put through a can? Oh, yes, Well, yes. well I didn't get you that. Oh. But Because that's a long ordering time, OK? Oh. But there's another one. Yeah. They have the cleaning product, and it cleans anything. And the man has a big bucket full of muddy water, and he pours this in, and it becomes oh, I clean love water. That. I love that. Well, I've I... got you it. And... <laughs> yeah, uh, no, no, but I tell you, no. I haven't used it yet, and I believe it's highly, highly toxic. <laughs> so be careful. But look at that. The orange clean. No, but this, I can't I got tell you, the... you. This is what I wanted. Well, that's it. <laughs> it is. And I've got you the big set, not the small set. Look, I've got you the, one with the, the wipers, and I've got oh, you these this things. Is fabulous. You can spray it on people, not not on their eyes, obviously. And. <laughs> The cloth, you get a cloth in it. Oh, no, let me see the cloth. And that is all for you, and that's for me. And I, I love this. <laughs> this is one of my favourite gifts. I wanted to order this on television. Well, there you I have it. <laughs> oh, I am so pleased you like it. Seriously, that's a good I gift in my eyes. Wonderful. But, you know, oh. you don't need... You don't, you don't want a man with buildings. You want a man with clean stuff. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to make sure you take this home. Don't just leave no, this No, no, no. I'm not going oh. to. You don't understand. I tried is... to order this. Yeah, and I said, I I'd like to order the, you know, the thing that cleans everything. And it looks <laughs> wonderful. And they said, uh, may we have your name, please? <laughs> I said, I call you back. <laughs> I, got, I got all embarrassed. But that must be because your name is, you know, you're, you're an iconic figure. Your name, presumably, you know, when people hear it, they all must say, are you the Liza Minnelli? <laughs> <laughs> With this nose, they know it's me. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, I, I have... I think I owe you an apology. Why? OK. Years ago, you came on over here and you were on the Comedy Awards, the British Comedy Awards, yes. and you came on. And, man, you were looking good that night, OK? Thank you. But, boy, I was really looking good that night. <laughs> <laughs> this is seven years ago. I was about 20 pounds lighter and, you know, a lot mm -hmm. of... And afterwards, I was chatting to you afterwards, and you said some friends are going back to the hotel room, and I thought you were coming on to me. No. Yeah, well, don't say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Could have happened. It's just. <laughs> yes, and, and, I, I mean, and the, and if it didn't back then, well, yeah, it was anyway, my mistake. So I went upstairs and I said to my wife, <laughs> I think Liza Minnelli's just come on to me. <gasps> Do you mind if I go back? And she said, It's Liza Minnelli. <laughs> of course I don't mind. Oh, my nerves. And I was going to come and I was going to go down, and then you'd gone. And then a, a long while later, I told a friend and he told someone else, and it turned up in the newspapers that Liza Minnelli wanted to. Do me. <laughs> and now we find out Figures. it isn't true. Uh, and now you're married, and now you're going to have to ask him first. Oh, but well, come on, why don't we after the show? <laughs> but you know, seriously, we only live once. If, if you don't mind asking David and having him hit you about the head. He quite shouldn't a bit. do that. Because look, come on. I, I promise to be gentle. <laughs> and, and also, he doesn't have to watch. It's only. <laughs> It's only well, if you like that kind. That changes everything. So I, apolo I do, but you know, I'm being silly now, but I apologise because now I realise that, of course, you, you know, 
Not even a little bit. He didn't. What? <laughs> will, you, will you continue? To... <laughs> Could you please stop listening? <laughs> You know, the lady's trying to take me to bed. <laughs> oh, Jay! Well, you know, I, but I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> I would. <laughs> I said, look in my eyes, tell me you don't want me. Come on. Oh, <laughs> look in your eyes and, and tell you I don't want you? Oh, don't do it for Will. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind having to do whatever you would care to do at the Albert Hall. I, I'll be might... there. But you know what, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm coming to see you at the Albert Hall because I've never seen you perform live and I'm genuinely a huge fan of yours. I've got a few of your albums the, and the soundtrack album from the film New York, New York. I don't know if you remember <laughs> that movie with Robert De Niro. Yeah. Some of the tracks on that, they always blow me away. Oh, I mean, good. just fantastic. And I'm hoping you're going to do some of them at the Albert Hall. Yes, I am. OK, I'm coming yeah. on the first night. My mum's coming on another night. Hey, you know what? You do look fantastic because you, you lost a lot of weight in the last, what, two years or so? Oh, no, in the last... Um... Year and a third. How much weight did you lose? Gosh, I lost over. Um, I lost over ninety-eight pounds. Wow, that's like that's like Kylie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in hot pants. That could perform. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. that is so much smooth. Congratulations. And Thank what, what diet do you go on? Because I'm always trying to lose a bit of weight, and obviously Andy, you know, he's a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> no need for that. Okay, well, now seriously, yeah. what happened was that because I have arthritis in my hips and my my hips had to be replaced so I couldn't walk for a while now I'm used to moving like you know yeah. you know, I go and you know that so to be sedentary, <laughs> to be well, sedentary I, was, I was hoping to find out but I'm yeah. <laughs> before you go can I get an autograph of you because my mum is a huge fan of yours and so and so is my oh, mother-in-law they're both that. in Sydney but my mum she named my youngest sister after you uh Liza yeah. you're kidding me yeah yeah and could I get something my mum's name you is... got a sister called Liza that's right and it's Liza with a Z, not Lisa with an S, because Lisa with an S goes not Z. <laughs> you, you might want to remember that, because that's a quite easy yes. way of remembering it. Catchy, isn't it? It's fantastic. <laughs> What's your mum's name? It's uh, Maureen. How do you spell it? M A U. M. Um, Just talk amongst yourselves. A U R E N. Okay, and then put. Beautiful name. Is she I... named after Maureen O'Hara or Maureen O'Sullivan? <laughs> Maureen, I think maybe both of those. Oh. <laughs> Jonathan, you're going to bring her to the Albert Hall. I've ever seen. <laughs> Are you going to bring her to the Albert Hall? She's coming to the Albert Hall. You oh, try right. and stop her. Okay. Given the chance, she'll be on stage with you. <laughs> Look at that. That's it. Liza, it's been such a pleasure spending some time in your company. Oh, thank I'm you. so looking forward to seeing thank you live. You so I really much. am. Uh, I apologise for Andy sweating all over you. <laughs> oh, no. Andy, I know that feeling. Yeah. Yeah. When I get nervous on stage, I used to perspire like anything. Sitting near him. No, so I'm not so bad now. I've moved down. Yeah, no, the, difference yeah. is, the difference is you go on stage and you actually do something. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Liza Minnelli. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't forget your present, yeah? I want to give you this. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that, man. Thank you, Liza. I'll see you backstage. See you later.